Let's look at a square of side 1 cm each. It's always a good idea to write the length next to the respective sides. What is the area of the square? Perimeter can be calculated as 4 multiplied by 1 cm, which equals 4 cm. The area of this square is 1 squared cm. This can also be written as 1 cm squared. This area of 1 cm squared will be the standard unit we use to find the areas of smaller rectangles or squares. Now let's look at a rectangle of length 5 cm and breadth 4 cm. How do we find the area of this rectangle? Let us split 5 cm into 5 columns of 1 cm each. So we draw 4 lines like these. Distance between any two adjacent vertical lines is 1 cm. And we split 4 cm into rows of 1 cm each. So we draw 3 lines like these. Even the distance between any two adjacent horizontal lines is 1 cm. We haven't done anything special. We have just drawn lines within the figure. And what we got is 20 small squares of side 1 cm each. Each of these tiny squares inside will have sides of length 1 cm. Which means we have 20 small squares of area 1 squared cm. So if we add up the area of each of the 20 squares, we get the total area as 20 squared centimeters. That is actually equal to 5 multiplied by 4 squared centimeters. That's how we get the formula of the area of a rectangle as length multiplied by breadth. We break the rectangle down to tiny squares of standard size. So if we have a rectangle of length L and breadth B, the area of the rectangle will be L multiplied by B. If we have a square of sides S centimeters, then the area of the square will be S multiplied by S squared centimeters. That equals S squared squared centimeters. We get S multiplied by S since a square is another form of a rectangle. It is basically a rectangle with the same length and breadth. Now let's consider the same figure we saw in the earlier video. We have four equilateral triangles on the four sides of the square in between. The side of the square is given as 5 cm. In this example though, we have to find the area of the figure. Since all the triangles are equilateral, the lengths of their sides will be 5 cm. So we mark the lengths of the triangles as 5 cm. So the total area of this figure will be the area of the square plus the area of the four triangles. For the perimeter, however, we just considered the outer edges and ignored the edges of the square. 